in research, uh, there are uh, literature reviews. Uh, literature reviews are the mandatory part of research. And uh, in literature reviews, there are different kinds of literature reviews. Uh, one of it is uh, thematic literature review. The other is uh, theoretical literature review. The other one is chronological literature review. Uh, and the other one is methodological literature review. So today I am focusing on this thematic literature review, which is quite significant in uh, social science research, especially commerce and management uh, area. Uh, the scholars are doing thematic literature review, and I, I will, uh, uh, you know, uh, I will. Uh, I am aiming at uh, uh, providing a uh, providing an insight on how to write thematic literature review in this video. So my agenda is to acquiring skill to write thematic literature reviews and literature reviews, uh, basically literature review discuss published information in a particular subject area. Uh, so the information in a particular subject area within a certain time period, we have to mention the time period in which we have a reviewing purpose. We are reviewing purpose, for example, uh, if you're reviewing purpose from 2000 to 2022, that that is a period in which we we are taking studies uh, for the purpose of review. So this uh, uh, there are you know uh, uh, literature review papers like conceptual papers uh, and bibliometric papers. This paper shows the author's uh, knowledge in a particular uh, field uh, and. Uh, you know, uh, the author provide this critical thinking on the prevailing literature area. So there are problems encountered by the researchers <coughs> uh, absence of proper literature reviews. The first one is missing important variable. Sometimes, for instance, they are, uh, you know, uh, they are not uh, organizing their literature review in a proper manner. Sometimes the main variable may be missed and after the uh, questionnaire setting analysis and all findings and all they understand that they, they miss the important variable so that may be a, a bottleneck of uh, his or her study and another one is cannot identify the research gap so this is also very important problem uh, created uh, you know when there is an absence of proper literature review so research gap may not be identified. Sometimes the researcher without conducting proper literature review collect data and analyze and uh, he gets the findings and after that he understand that these findings already done. So there is a, a wastage uh, by the scholar, uh, I mean uh, wasting the entire time uh, when he do research uh, in a team that was already done. So the, uh, another problem is missing the theoretical linkages. Uh, there are, uh, you know, theoretical linkages we need to write like theoretical implications, etc. So these theoretical implications, we need to understand the existing theoretical underpinnings. And we may miss the latest development. These are the problems encountered, uh, you know, uh, absence of proper literature reviews. So what is literature review? It is a summary or recap of critical information of the source. Okay, so we are providing a critical information provided by the existing authors, existing studies to the readers. So it is a synthesis, is a reorganization or a reshuffling of that information. Sometimes you may reshuffle it without, without uh, losing the original information. And sometimes you may give new interpretation of the old material or campaign new with the old interpretations. So we may compare the uh, new and old interpretations and it raises the intellectual progression of the field, including major debates. So we may give the intellectual progression of the field. Sometimes the past literature, what does this say? What, what did say is the past lit literature and what is present the literature saying and what will be the future literature. So, so that we can connect the past, present and future uh, area of a particular theme. Then evaluate the sources and advise the reader on the most pertinent piece of knowledge. Okay, so these are the <coughs> major, uh, you know, features of uh, literature review. Are you facing difficulty in writing literature reviews? 
so many scholars are stuck up with this area they even they cannot write properly uh, you know without understanding how to write the literature reviews so that's a problem of the present research uh, however there is a difference between literature review and academic research paper so we are uh, you know we can write an academic research paper uh, same time uh, we are doing the phd so usually uh, you know a scholar registered uh, his or her uh, area of research in the university and after that the the, the supervisor you know uh, he will ask to review papers review literature uh, and that stage the, the scholar can you know uh, can be able to publish a paper uh, based on the reviews but the academic research paper is quite different from the uh, actual literature review that is put across in this uh, thesis because in literature review paper i mean uh, academic research paper we can make new arguments based on the existing arguments of the uh, existing uh, authors so if if an author studied something and we can make our own argument based on the existing argument but in in, in thesis literature review you cannot make such an argument you are simply writing the reviews based on the existing theoretical underpinnings so uh, literature review should be uh, like this the, the literature review may be rejected because it is too many scattered points without strong links so if you write a literature review without strong links of the themes if your points are scattered if your authors information like like independent literature like you know the old uh, version of research uh, uh, where following these independent literature review mr x what uh, what says mr y what says mr z what says there is no linkage there is uh, uh, there is no thematic linkage of uh, all those contributions uh, in that so we, we should avoid that kind of uh, things if you continuously using this kind of scatter or independent reviews you are uh, your review may not be strong so the literature review is not basically a literature compilation of different papers without critical thinking so you should write literature reviews by using your critical thinking what the author says what the author did not find what the author if the author has any problem with the methodology if any variables missed this model is strong or weak so this kind of thing you can criticize the author so you should either summarize the literature to arrive at a gap which your research is going to fill uh, compare the literature with what you are doing this these two stages you can do that in this stage you should either summarize the literature to arrive at a gap which is your research is going to fill and compare the literature with what you are doing so i will come up with the <coughs> continuous videos uh, in this area thank you for this time